All right, hey, this is John Chen. I'm here in the Daily Dish. Uh, welcome back. I hope that you all enjoyed your lunch. I used a tip or something that I learned last year was how to use morph. If you have two different objects that you want to morph into each other, there's a notation called bang, bang, which is something like exclamation point, exclamation point, picture. And you have to name the first object in one slide, this bang, bang picture, and then you need to make the other's picture the exact same name. Because you got to tell PowerPoint, uh, using the two exclamation points says, I actually want you to treat these two different pictures as the same picture. And what it will do is move morph one picture into the other picture and do all the magic for you. So that's kind of the very short morph tutorial. I can tell you I did not know how to morph before at last year's program, and now uh, I'm a little crazy with it, not gonna lie. And I can tell you that most of the presenters here who are top presenters are using morph in some way, shape, or form because it does so much for you if you do it the right way. I'm gonna open the request line in mics. Anybody have any other commentaries? What have they used morph for in unique or valid ways, or you could also ask the other question, what the heck is morph? And that's okay too. Hey, John, can you go back to the, um, the exclamation mark? Because I've heard, I've heard this before. If I can put these pictures here and I'm going to now duplicate the slide and I'm going to get rid of one of the pictures. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to try and morph this guy into the other guy. Now, remember these pictures may not be high quality. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but uh, this is for demonstration purposes. And now I just really want to show you this, what this bang, what uh, they'll, they'll, most people affectionately call it bang, bang notation. Okay. I can click this picture and I need to go to selection tool. Okay. So I don't know if you can read this way up here in the top, right, but what is this picture name? It's called picture three. So in the second picture, I'm clicking here. Now let me go back uh, again to hear what is this picture called picture four. picture four good picture four so now let me turn on morph transition for both of these okay and i told it to morph and all it did was fade out and fade in right that's not cool right we totally. already do that okay so now let's go back to edit this and now what i want to do is i want to tell powerpoint uh that these two i want to tr you treat these two pictures exactly the same so i'm going to rename this and I'm going to name it exclamation point, exclamation point, picture. So otherwise known as bang, bang, picture for those who like to shortcut. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to go to the second picture. Yep. And call this also bang, bang, picture. Okay. So exclamation mark picture. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two exclamation, two exclamation points. marks. Yeah. The, the two exclamation points are very important. It is special notation to PowerPoint. Okay. So yep. now I'm going to run this in the PowerPoint. And now uh, I haven't run this demo yet, so I got to make sure this works. Okay, here we go. Morph. Whoa! Now, can you see that morph transition? Yes. So this is something that, remember Michael Jackson a long time ago did morph transitions in one of the videos? Now you have the power, which it took supercomputers to do it at the time. You can do it on your computer, and you can do it right with PowerPoint software without writing a line of code. So, John, let's say you had four pictures and you wanted you wanted to make sure that you set which one, like you had two pairs of two, basically. Yep. So one goes to the other. Would you do the exclamation point picture on both of those or would you or all four of them? And how would it know that I want A to go to B and C to go to D? Yeah, so that's where I would, let's say, I say uh, uh, bang, bang, picture A, and I have to name my two pictures, one on one slide, and then go to the other slide and saying I picture A and this picture A on the, the other slide to morph into each other. Does that make sense? Okay. So the picture names just have to be the same. They can be whatever, but you put bang, bang in front of, or the exclamation points. And you can do some weird morphings. Like I think you can mor morph text into a picture or a picture into a text, right? And some of these other things, sometimes if you name them the same thing. But if you've ever seen, text, yeah, if you've ever seen text transitions, um, Rick Altman is famous for words that morph into other words as part of the slide. Great, John. thank you. John, I have a three shape morph keyed up right now. If uh, if I'm able to present, 
Yeah, uh, share. Let's see, Rick. So, Rick Springer, why don't you uh, cue us up what you what the goal was and what you're trying to do, and let's see what it looks like, and then we'll I just I just build it. <laughs> it was just one of those things playing with shape. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go from a star to a circle. Yes. To nice. a square. Yes. Let's give nice. a round of applause to Rick. And now, yeah. tear apart. Why don't you, Rick, say, uh, stay shared if you can, but hit escape, and let's see. What steps you had to take here? I believe I think I know. Uh, again, Election just three control. separate slides. And just the double exclamation pick. Very nice. Double exclamation pick. And ultimately, double exclamation pick. See that right there, right? He named all three objects, even though they're three totally separate objects, yeah. the same name. And that's the magic that says, tells uh, uh, PowerPoint to say, morph this thing into this thing into this thing. That was worth the price of admission alone, Rick. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Life changing.